Guys, guess what? April Fools is done. We are in <laughs> April, April officially. <laughs> April is here. So exciting. What? It's a good month. I four know. Four months down the year. The four, year. Yeah, four months down in uh, we are into the year. God has been good and so faithful. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. What, what what has been one of your like joys so far as you rest, Pastor Angie? Resting this season. Yeah. Let me not lie, being with my family and Come having on. many family moments. Come on. So God has allowed us to do things that we wouldn't usually do. Uh, visit people on Sunday. Wow. <laughs> um, and just jo- doing a random stuff like going camping with our kids and just enjoying God's blessings. So wow, it's been look wonderful. Wow, at that. Mm. I love it. If you're joining us for the very first time today, this is uh, the takeout with me, Cap the Rev and... Pastor. Angie. So welcome to the month of April. We are going to dive in right through the book of Luke again. Mm. Uh, today, uh, this week, we'll be in Luke chapter 9 all the way to chapter 12. Again, it's loaded with meaning, significance, mm. and, and amazing stories. It's uh, a beautiful Yeah, section. we start off with seeing the first two chapters that we're going to be reading this week. Is Jesus sending out the 12 mm. and then sending out the, 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 the 72. Mm. And I like what he says because in verse 1 of chapter 9, he says, when Jesus had called the 12 together, he gave them power and authority mm. to drive out all demons. Mm. You know how we feel like, hey, yeah, this one, this demon, <laughs> eh, let's call so and so. It was not the one of the all. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But Jesus says, all, all demons and, and to, to cure, cure d- uh, all diseases. diseases. Yeah. Mm. And to yeah. proclaim the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. Yeah. Uh, what do you think about that part of authority and the authority that you have in Jesus? No, I sometimes I think that as believers, we don't really believe it. Come on. We don't believe, even when he says in Matthew, I have given you all authority. Mm. We take it as some authority. Mm. We don't. Like we don't read something it, is the holding context. us on Yeah, still. something back. But he's wow. saying, I've given you all authority of, to, 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 over all demons, mm. all, not some demons. Come on. He says to cure, it's basically all diseases, yes. not some diseases. Oh, come on. So I feel like we walk into the world, we take our faith as if God has said some, but he said all. Come on. Now, what would change if we believed it? You know, I'm wondering why I'm called a believer if I don't believe. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, what would change if we actually believe that we have authority? All authority wow. has been given to you. Mm. All authority has been given to you to trample over snakes and scorpions. Come on. All authority has been given to you to remove demons. Mm. All authority has been given to you to cure diseases. All authority. He's basically saying that neighborhood you live in, God has given you all authority. Wow. That uh, space where you work in, God has given you all authority. Come on. Not some, but all authority. Come on. What if I believed it and exercised it? And he gives, he, he tells uh, the 12 and he sends them out and says, go out this way and mm. see what the Lord will do. Come on. Yeah. I love it. And I think, I think that, that you've given us the key. The reason why we don't think we have all authority is because you don't do the next step of going. Mm. They only exercise authority when they went. Mm. If they would have said, oh, thank you, Jesus, you have authority, but you're going to chill around you. I mean, oh, yeah. it's safe around it's safer you. Here. They would never have seen the authority that they had. But as they go out, they're able to come back and say, we saw the demons mm. go out. We saw the diseases being healed. Mm. We see the lame walking. We see the blind uh, being healed. And so maybe what we need to do this month of April is to say, you know, maybe we're going to be traveling in up country or somewhere else how about you say i have authority let me exercise it exactly i mean the pressure is not on you i love one of our, our, our you know a gentleman in the faith his name is joe he's always praying for people mm. and for him he's like i'm not the one doing the healing yeah, yeah, that's so right. he prays for someone if there's healing he's like sour if there's no healing he says i'm gonna come back again and pray <laughs> Like, I'm praying until something happens. Yes, because all authority has been given oh, to come us. On. So good. Glory must go back to God. It True. isn't you doing it, it is God. Yeah. And so I, I remember even uh, recently as I've been reading the word, the, the statement, because I'm reading the TPT version, mm. I've been seeing that he says, don't yield to fear. Come on. And so even the time that uh, Jesus spoke to Peter when he walked on the water, he says, don't yield to fear. Yes. There's a time, is it Jairus' son, daughter was sick and, and news came that the daughter had died and mm. then he told him, don't Do yield to fear. Yeah. Don't be afraid. Come yield. Mm. And it's saying only basically, believe. only believe. Don't yield. Don't give in to fear. Mm. Believe. Come on. And so I want to uh, speak to us and say, even as you go into your holiday, uh, uh, this season, as you celebrate Easter, remember that Christ died 
for on this the very cross reason. for this very reason Come on. so that all authority can be given to us as his children wow do not give in to fear do uh, not yield to it i love it and see i'm gonna take it back i'm gonna watch i'm gonna listen to someone's go for the experience watch the passion and understand truly all authority has been given to me I love it. I beautiful. love it. It's beautiful. Yeah. Mm. You need to be able to walk into the office and say all authority yeah, has that's now right. arrived. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. That's hilarious. Yes, you just yes. don't know. you just don't have the authority to sign checks that's but right. all authority <laughs> Guys will be like who is this guy shouting <laughs> all authority? You walk into the supermarket all authority. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like talk away. Get out of here. But um yeah. but I I really believe that if we lived it and believed it then we would be more fear uh, fearless, fearless truly. than less fearful come on we'll be fearless in achieving things for god believing that truly the kingdom of god can advance my family can experience freedom mm. it means that this year the words that have been prophesied over this church i won't give in to fear i'll believe come on. this is the year i'll experience is ease an and acceleration, acceleration. Come on. this is the year that i will expand this is the year that i'll move from glory to glory this come is on. the year i lead someone mm. people many people to christ come on. because i'm exercising this word i'm believing leaving it. I love it. Yeah. I love it. And I, I, a lot of our conviction in the authority comes from our belief in mm. who Jesus is. Mm. Uh you will see Jesus in verse 20 being asked uh, asking the guys, "But who do you say I am?" That's right. You know what I like about that question? Jesus is the great I am. But then he asks them, "Who do you Who's believe?" I am. I am. Like who do you believe? Like I am is a name I am that I am <laughs> but it's like like it's it, it's like nested like, yeah. like you know like one of those russian things that you open mm. one the other one is here like he's already said to them I am I am but who do you say I am I am mm. <laughs> and I love yeah. that because I think even as you go through this you ask yourself like do I who do, mm. what do I believe about God Come on. do I really believe what I, what would I say if Jesus turned to me and said Angie Jack Uh, John Daniel who do you believe I am? I am yeah 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 I love that and may we you know uh we, the bible says when when they believed when they believed and they answered who he was it's from then and it just is showing them that you die and resurrect mm. when they understood that he was the son of the living god yes. then he started showing them that he would die but because he's the son of the living god he would come, back, come back to life again there are some things that the lord is probably holding Uh, not because he's holding them back on you but he's waiting for your capacity to to be mm, able to bear them exactly uh he's waiting for your capacity to mature mm. and to be able to bear them so that you can be able to say son i have so much more for you exactly. i have so much bread i have so much meat but i, I want you to be able to grow into it if i give you right now you'll mm. be able to, you'll choke I love it. You'll choke on it but there's more expand your capacity to receive. So exactly. I'm not holding on you. I want to give you everything but I'm waiting for you to be able to get mm. into it. Come on expand somebody. Expand my capacity. I Jesus. Know. I know. I mean because when I when I had that this came to me a few weeks ago and I told God really I must understand and exercise what that means. All mm. authority has been given to me. Mm. And so I've told God reveal to me the the word of the Lord. In fact he says he, he sometimes spoke in parables because the people who, those who want to listen here mm. so when you read now this season pray that god will open up your eyes open up your ears that the secrets that are in the word would be revealed to you that your understanding of who god is and then who you are in context of what god has won for you would arise that you will walk in the authority you will walk in the blessing and the favor that god has for you come on beautiful so the the 12 go they come back the 72 go they come back and they come back and they tell jesus um they tell Jesus you know um you know what they've seen uh what they've seen, they, you know that you know the demons mm. obeyed them and they saw all these things and Jesus tells them do not rejoice uh so much that these things happen as much as you should rejoice that your names are in the book of life, life yeah. and so pastor Angie, i don't know uh tell us um how did you receive jesus tell us the story of how your name was written <laughs> in the book of life i i mean how i how i became a yes, christian yes or the story yes or the so story around that my mother when we were kids my mom had gone for a service i think at sitam church and she got saved at mm. some crusade or something and so she came home and we were kids um it must have been in like standard six or something mm. and she tells us the story and she said she gave her life to christ Come on. Now, i couldn't com- comprehend mm. fully but in my mind i was like you mean you're safe 
<laughs> so I said, I tell me, I want to be saved. Oh. So I was playing a game with my brother. There was this chair that we used to swing on. Yeah. So he'd, it was a heavy chair, uh, those old English chairs. And so they would do this thing where they let go and then catch you just when you're about to fall. Mm. So my mom said, you will never, ever fall. Because wow. my brother, sometimes the weight would, if they waited too long, the weight would be too much, you yeah. fall. So she said, you will never, ever fall once you give your life to Christ. So that day she led all of us to wow. give our hearts to Jesus, give our lives to Christ that day, because we said we never ever want to fall. We know wow. what it's like to fall. Wow. And since then, like we've done many things, that did a lot of camps, grown in our faith, um, in our own personal journeys, just to know that Christ has saved me. Wow, is that right now you got your name, Angie got me, like he got you? <laughs> this is gay. <laughs> Yeah, maybe that's where I don't know. How? Wow. What's your story? I want to hear your My story. My story. So I was in Kadonzwani. Mm. Like this place is. But don't even Google it. I don't <laughs> think there are roads there. <laughs> I think in the map it's shown as one. You know how there are cattle dips. <laughs> So it's one of the cattle <laughs> dips. <laughs> that's too funny. Yeah. Anyway, so it's local dining. It's like inside there. Anyway, so so we used to go to this AIC um, church. And uh, because the guys would go, so they had they this catechism or like baptism mm -hmm. class or something. So we'd go for that class and come back a little bit later after people have taken lunch. So what would happen is that all the food that had remained would be served a little bit more. So it was either you miss or you get a little bit more. So it mm -hmm. was happier because you know you get a little bit more. So that's how I think I joined that class. Mm -hmm. But then there are some students from Desta University who did a mission trip oh, wow. to our school mm -hmm. back then. And they came to our church. Um, Desta, right? Desta, yeah, mm. I know. You're from Desta. I know. You could have Jesus. led me to Christ because I can't <laughs> remember the lady. <laughs> I'm not that old. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, they come and they are, they are, they they come to our school, and for the first time, of course, I'd given my life to Christ many mm. times. Those ones for crusade, Zuinini, mm. out of fear, or you see, you know, hell's flames and mm. oh, that play. Sees. I remember that play. And I'd given my life to Christ so many times, but somehow. These students were able to give us a clear presentation of the gospel. Mm. I just remember giving my life to Christ, not out of fear, not out of need, mm. but just you mean the Lord loves me that this much. much. Yeah. And on the 31st, 1st of Amen. 99, Amen. Mm, mm. the last day of January 1999, mm. I opened up my heart. That's it was on a beautiful, Sunday. Beautiful. And I gave my life to Jesus. And they told us, do this. Go take your Bible. And on the first page, right on this day, I, I gave, gave my, my life to, to Christ. Jesus. And I had some of the days stuck with me. And, and I can't forget that it was students who led me to Jesus. Christ. And so maybe you are there, you are a student. Yeah. But you're among the 12, you're among the 72. Yeah. yeah. You're among the people that, you know, God is saying, cross the road. Go to Kadonzweni. Mm. Go to a dry and weary land. That's right, literally. <laughs> go to the cattle dips. Talk to someone over there. My sheep are there. Mm. Imagine they're there. <laughs> and, and, you know, be the people who share the good news of the gospel. And so I love for you that it's your mom mm. and maybe your parent mm. there. But is your is your if if Jesus comes today, I know I'm gonna say it in a scary way, but if the Lord comes back today, are your children being picked up? Yeah. We have an opportunity to lead them to Jesus mm. today. If you are a father, you can lead them to Christ today. today. If you are a, a you know a teacher, you can lead one of those students who's struggling to Jesus today. Across uh, the road, cross mm. the street, mm. uh, cross the you know the 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 um, the, the hallway yeah. and share the gospel uh, with someone. Uh, yeah, in it's a different true. Space. I love it. It's yeah. such a beautiful story. Come on. Mm. Why? We have authority. We have authority to yeah. do it. Yeah. I think I think the thing that we fear is uh, shame. Mm. We, we fear rejection. Come on. But don't yield to fear. True. I think that's the thing. True. Don't give in to fear. All authority has been given to you. Come on. In fact, I always tell myself, what's the worst that could happen? Somebody says no. Like, let me not yield to fear. Yep. Let me move in the grace and the blessing of God. Yeah. Beautiful. And and so I think part of what you're going to see, sorry, as you go into this week, is, yes, Jesus gives authority. He sends people to go out. People may have fears. And so he actually speaks at some point towards uh, the end of, by the time we are on Sunday, part of what you'll be reading is about not having worry, mm. not having fear. That's right. Not yielding to that. Uh, this is what the Bible says again, uh, chapter 12, verse 22, uh, all the way to 26. It says, therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat, or about your body, what you will wear. 
for your life is more than food and body more than clothes. Consider the ravens, they do not sow or reap. Uh, they have no storeroom or barns, yet God feeds them. And how much more valuable are you than birds? Mm. Who of you by worrying can add a single lie hour to your life? Since you cannot do any of these very little things, why do you worry about the rest? I think Jesus is telling us, recognize who I am. Mm. I am the Lord. I am all powerful. I am, you know, the son of the living God. I'm sending you out. Do not worry. I'm going to take care of you. I've given you the vision. I'm going to give you the provision as well. Yeah. Amen. And he's inviting us into that uh, relationship where we act in the earth on his behalf. Amen. I want to pray for people out there right now. I want to pray for you that whatever situation you're going through, whatever is happening in your life right now, that you will know who God is and that you will experience the authority that God has given us. Mm. Father, I thank you so much for every man, every woman who is listening. I thank you because you love them beyond a shadow of a doubt. There is nothing they can do to deserve it. You have already done it for them. I declare victory over their lives and their situations. I pray that they would walk in the understanding that they are blessed of the Lord and they are favored of the Lord. The blessing that you spoke over us is that all authority has been given to us. When you spoke in Genesis, you did say that you have blessed us to be a blessing, that we will be able to be a blessing to the world. I pray whatever that person is going through right now, that you will be able to reconcile things in their lives. I pray that Father, every spirit that is not of your will will be uh, diminished and destroyed in the name of Jesus. I pray that they'll be able to experience freedom, they'll be able to experience ease, they'll be able to experience reconciliation right now in Jesus' name. May your grace, may your power come through. As we read your work this week, may the eyes of our hearts and our spirits be opened up to have understanding and revelation about who we are and who you are, that we may walk in the authority you have called us into. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen, amen and amen. Thank you all, guys. Uh, enjoy your Good Friday. Enjoy your Easter weekend. Uh, you know, say hi to your families on our behalf. Let us know what you think about mm. this uh, podcast on the comments down below. But this is the Takeout with Big Cat, the Rev and Pastor Angie. Thank you all. See you next week. See ya. <laughs>